Hi YouTube, it's Nay, and I'm doing my second Halloween tutorial and it is a fairy look. I did have Tinkerbell in mind a little bit, but any fairies, probably, or, or even a witch in the sense of if it's a good witch like Glinda the Witch in Wizard of Oz. And it is a very sparkly look. If you're afraid of glitter, this is not the good Halloween costume for you. So you can see that there's a bunch of glitter on my cheeks and some um it's a little hard to see but on my eyelashes as well and it and if you look it was a kind of silvery green look so if you want to know how to do this please follow along all right so here is moving on to the tutorial just to give you an idea things you need for this look are your regular black mascara you're going to need um eye safe glitter so any glitter cosmetics that you might have, this can include liners, etc. Um, any glittery eyeshadows in the realm of the silvery whitey color as well as a greenish color. Um, this is my Urban Decay Book of Shadows 3. So Urban Decay has some great glittery eyeshadows that are not appropriate sometimes for a day-to-day -day look but they're great for Halloween looks. So I'm going to be using this white glittery shade called Uzi. This green, nice greens and these, this green and these two greens right here and this pinky nudie sparkly shade down here so basically you need sparkly colors and greenish colors and you need a turquoise or green or blue eyeliner all right so to start i'm going to be lining the inner corner of my eye with the white glittery eyeshadow i have also keep in mind that if you don't have actual eyeshadow with a bunch of chunky glitter in it, you can always add glitter on top of it afterwards, either by loose glitter or using a glitter eyeliner. Alright, so the key to the glitter white eyeliner is you need to put it on your tear duct and you need to extend it a little bit towards your nose. You don't want to just do it on your lid. So the next thing you're going to do is use a pink, beigey, apricot, peachy, somewhere in that range color. If you have glitter in it, great, that will be the best thing to do. If not, you can always add glitter afterwards and you're going to be doing it on putting the color on the rest of your eyelid where you don't have the white highlight. And I'm just using the stiff shader brush. At this point in time, there's not much definition. You're not going to be seeing much color. This is where your greens come in. You can use whatever green colors you want. Um, when I think of fairies, I think kind of bright springy green colors. Just like the two I showed here in my Urban Decay palette, I'm going to be using this top color right here. And what I'm going to do is put a little bit on the outer corner of my eye and then pull it, use that as a crease color. And the whole purpose is, is you want, don't want this green too dark, you want to keep it nice and airy looking. So if you do get too much color on it, you can always use a fluffy brush like this to blend the color out so it's not as intensely pigmented. And always you can always mix and match the, match the greens to get the right color and consistency that you want. And the great thing about this look is you don't need to worry about glitter getting all over the place because that's exactly what you want. So any fallout you have, if you use the glittery eyeshadows, just leave them be. They're going to end up wherever they want to end up, so don't worry about them. Next, you're going to be using either your turquoise or green or light blue eyeliner. This I'm just happening 
to use flip side from Urban Decay. And you're going to line your upper lash line and your waterline with this. And the key to the eyeliner is you don't want to do too thick of a line just because you want to keep the look nice and airy and breezy. Just like a fairy. And last but not least is the mascara and the glitter. So the thing you need to remember is it's a little bit hard to see with how the camera is right now, but there's actually glitter on my eyelashes and how to get that look is you need to be quick about things and glitter if you haven't worked with it before gets everywhere so just keep in mind and be ready to make a mess and clean up after yourself so what you need to do is just have your glitter available and ready and as soon as you put your mascara on why it's still wet so before it completely dries you can dip your finger in the pot and quickly kind of go like this on your eyelashes so you know gently dip your finger so if this was my glitter that's open I would dip my finger into the pot and then gently place glitter on my eyelashes and just be careful that it doesn't fall into your eye so that's what I'm going to do now So my mascara is still wet, the glitter on my finger, and literally just putting it, so as you can see, I'm just literally you know, putting out my eyelashes. And I wouldn't put them on your bottom one just so it doesn't fall in your face or actually in your eye. I think the top is more than plenty and the mascara, as it dries, it'll hold the glitter. And then the finish, we'll put the glitter aside for now and come back to it. We'll put more on our cheeks as a highlight. The next thing you need, since you're being a fairy, is a bright pink blush. Something in the nature of this. And you put it on the apples of your cheek. So nice pinky glow. And before you go to the lip gloss, go back to the glitter. So you're going to take the glitter and put it on your cheekbones, essentially, and around your eyes where you would have, you will put your highlighter. So in this case, you're going to be putting it right here underneath your eye, not directly underneath your eye, but right here on your cheekbones and a little bit around here. And put it on liberally. And if you're wondering whether or not the glitter is going to stay on your face, glitter has the uncanny ability to actually stick to whatever surface you have, whether it's sticky or not, but you can always help it along by either, I would just use moisturizer. If you put moisturizer on a little bit before, it will glue on the glitter without any problems. And even if you don't use moisturizer, the glitter will stick whichever way. So as a last thing to finishing up the look, use a bright, almost milky pink gloss. And if you're not a gloss type person, you can use a pinky, light pink, milky colored lipstick as well. So take off my clip here. So your finished fairy look is going to be very glittery. I'm trying to, my bangs are not cooperating, but kind of do a Tinkerbell inspired hairdo for you as well. So size so of bangs, or you can put it up, whatever you want. Um, Tinkerbell has her hair up, for example. Tinkerbell is obviously the most well-known fairy there is to know. And to try to give it a more fun, flirty fill, I have a few braids in my hair that I put up and on this side I did a little twisty thing and side swip bangs. So that's an idea you can do for a hairstyle. Um, another thing you can do to create the whole fairy look is put glitter in your hair. So there's plenty of hairsprays that have glitter within it or if you're really up for it you can take whatever glitter you have left over and just kind of throw it up in your hair or 
most likely it's going to end up in there anyway. Well, I hope you enjoyed my fairy tutorial and I'll see you next time. And please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.